Today is an exciting day. Today is delivery day. I have just gotten done with my 55-gallon barrels uh, a couple days earlier. I knew this day was coming. You know, it started back in January or February. I can't remember exactly, but it was with all the snow that we had, and my snowblower had died. And my snowblower was old. It was from, I think, either the early 90s or late 80s, and it had died, and I needed a new solution. And I needed something that was going to last me for another 20 or more years. So the process began in shopping for a new solution. And this is what I ultimately came up with. And now the day has come where it's showing up at my front door. Now the audio is not turned on to this camera. I didn't have the record uh, audio set up with this particular camera. I thought all it would do is pick up wind noise. But it is interesting to watch these guys operate. So just watch them. And I'm about to pitch in. Yeah, buddy. There it is. Now we get to watch an instant replay. Unloading the tractor. If you watch the backhoe, wham! That's a rough way to unload it. And then the bucket is drug down the ramps. Furthermore, I'm not exactly sure if the mower deck was all the way up or not. But holy cow, that was a rough way to go. What we're preparing to do right now is to offload the snowblower. The fellow in the green shirt made it very clear to me, before I started up the GoPro for the very first time, so it wasn't caught on any recording, but he made it very clear to me that he had no intention of carrying that snowblower back there. And of course I didn't blame him, but I invited him to back the trailer down the driveway, and he didn't want to do that. So I came up with this idea of putting the snowblower 
into the bucket of the tractor, and he was relaying it to that fella. The only problem is, is that the snowblower is the same size as the bucket. So, <clears throat> we're working on a way to get this thing loaded at an off angle so that the bucket can hold it. And then we go ahead and strap it in. However, the little PTO drive shaft on the back side of the snowblower was still connected and was slightly wedged between the snowblower and the bucket. I asked the fella if it had a quick disconnect or if it was able to be disconnected at all. He said yes, but he uh, then didn't proceed to disconnect it. Uh, but he did, in fact, manage to get it out of the way so that it could be loaded onto the bucket. So why don't we just sit back and watch this little episode. care of a snowblower. Well, we're coming to the end of this delivery process, and we're using the tractor once again to uh, to load the uh, front quick hitch and the mid PTO shaft for the snow blower. Everything's going pretty well. The only complaint that I really had, and I don't know if it's anybody's fault or not, feel free to chime in in the comment section, was the way they offloaded the tractor itself. 
they may not have anticipated such a hit on that backhoe. But still, I think a little bit more care could have been uh, could have been exercised. But now we're loading the snow blade, which is the tool that will be mo used most often. Now I'm not anxious for the snow to fly. After all, springtime just got here, and I've managed to do one mowing up to this point. Only half of the backyard, though. The rest of the backyard was way too wet. How do you like that? He just tosses the trash right into the front yard. But the back half of the yard is way too wet to mow, so one of the things I'm excited about is to... Uh, get the front end loader and the backhoe off the tractor to see if the tractor by itself will sink right into the ground. So this pretty much concludes the delivery process. Now the young fellow driving the tractor did give me a rough introduction, a brief introduction to how to operate the tractor. And with that, I was then left on my own to explore how to operate this tractor. And the first thing I had to do was figure out how to adjust the deck height. And that ended up being a little bit of an interesting adventure all on its own. So, thank you for watching.